What's good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down what's going on with the overall market and how this may affect AMC and why tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day as it's going to be the final full day, the final close before FOMC. And FOMC is going to have a very big effect on how the market moves. It could cause the market to have one last major rally or it could cause the market to actually crash and this will affect AMC big time so once again guys get ready for tomorrow it's the final day i'm going to break down how this could affect amc share price now before i break anything down though before i get into any more details i have to mention a couple of things real quick firstly i'm not a financial planner make sure you take none of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below. And deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed 7 free stocks. And any could be a free AMC share. With that out of the way now, let's get on with the video. AMC is up about 2.15% for the day. I did make a prediction that AMC would try to bounce. But I did think that AMC would push up a little bit more than this. But overall, we did still get a green day, which is still pretty nice. But the real question is... What's going to happen for tomorrow? Is the market about to tank? Are we about to make a big move? And my really blunt answer is I don't think it's going to be a too crazy of a day. I think that right now, SPY does have a very, very nice, this almost looks like a cup and handle. We have a bullish structure developing. And it looks to me like SPY might try to push up a little bit more as we get closer to the FOMC meeting. So we could see more upside in the market. But I don't think it's going to be a major amount of upside. I don't, I don't think it's going to be like that huge. I really believe that the market might try to hold up because of where Max Payne is and because of how the market makers are performing. But once again, we can't become too comfortable with the market pushing up right now. Fundamentals are not aligning with moves like this. We're continuing to see banks collapse and the whole banking situation is not over. Now, one thing that's very important is the Fed did increase their balance sheet by about $300 billion, and they are going to be providing more life support for many banks. Now, ultimately, I know that the you know banks out there keeps not the banks, the, the Fed keeps on saying that, oh, they're, they're printing on all this money. It's not going to be affecting the taxpayer. But at the end of the day, the taxpayers are the one that will pay for it going forward, unfortunately. Right. That's how the system tends to work. And this is how it's going to play out. But what I'm trying to say is now that the Fed is printing more money. This could lead to even more inflation. Once again, we have another $300 billion coming out. That's not what we want during a time like this. So if the Fed is doing that, if they're printing out that much money, it makes no sense for them to pause simultaneously because once again, the risk of inflation is going to get <coughs> excuse me, even hotter and higher and higher. So the Fed is most likely going to give us 25 basis points. Now, will 25 basis points crash us? Well, the market is actually anticipating it right here. There's a 77.5% chance that's what we're going to get. And in my opinion, it's not just about the rate hike. It's also going to be about what the Fed does afterwards. Will they announce a pause for later? Will the Fed do anything else like that? We have to just wait and see on Wednesday. Looking at the economic calendar, there's not really much going on tomorrow. Uh, not really too much is coming out except for like existing home sales data. Nothing too important or too major compared to Wednesday, which is when we actually have the interest rate hike decision coming out. It's going to be coming out at about, I think that's like uh, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Then at 2 p.m. Eastern time, we have the FOMC meeting. That's going to be very, very important as well. Now, when the press conference actually ends up starting, I'm sorry, I think it's at 2.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. But anyways, it's very, very important. And what Jerome Powell says will move the markets very, very hard. As far as AMC goes, however, AMC is getting next to no volume. There's not much going on right now. It's getting tighter and tighter. Only 17 million in volume is nothing. And that's not a good sign because when AMC gets this less volume, what this tells us is AMC is chopping back and forth and getting tighter and tighter. When AMC gets tighter, this tells us a big move is coming. I don't know if it's going to be to the upside or the downside. I believe it's just getting ready for FOMC. Going into the short volume, this has been starting to increase a bit. That's why AMC has been underperforming. But I do believe AMC has reached kind of like a, a base point, which is around $4. It's going to likely try to hold it. 
The price pairs ratio starting to bottom around here, as I suspected. That's why AMC is starting to try to bounce a little bit. Tuesdays tend to be not the best of days for AMC. She's only green about 46% of the time. And overall, the short interest, the legal short interest has been decreasing just a little bit, at least very recently. Overall, it doesn't really mean too much because we do know what they could do from the back end with those potential naked shorts. And then looking at the data, we can see there are about 90,000 shares available to borrow. Not really a whole lot. Cost to borrow is still very high. Everything else is essentially the same. So what am I seeing in the charts? We do have a possible cup and handle developing on SPY. SPY might try to keep going. It might try to fill this gap very, very soon. This is once again quite bullish. As far as Tesla goes, Tesla is once again up pretty nicely. It made another attempt to fill this gap. And overall, it's holding up nicely too. This is resembling a cup and handle. I guess it sort of is. But it's, once again, it's holding up nicely. It might try to push up a little bit more. And then for AMC... What's going on with AMC? Well, so far, to me, it looks like AMC is trying to fill this gap. It's getting closer to doing so. I don't think it has done it just yet. Let me double check on that if it filled the gap. I don't think it has. I think it came very close. Uh, it may have. No, it doesn't look like it did. Oh, actually, no, it, it did. It actually came very close. But anyways, I still think AMC has a bullish structure still developing. We are forming almost like a bullish triangle. We are making those higher lows as you can see today. So if the market tries to push up, it doesn't matter if AMC already filled this gap. I think AMC might try to push up a little bit more and get closer to about 4.5. And I also believe that that's where AMC is most likely going to try you know, to hit a very critical point. I think tomorrow AMC is going to just chop a lot. There's going to be lots of choppy price action tomorrow because it's going to be the last full day until the FOMC meeting starts on Wednesday. So I believe AMC is going to see lots of sideways action, maybe a bit of a pullback in the morning, sideways action for the most part. And finally, we should get a push up to about the mid $4 zone and a somewhat green close again. I'm really hoping for that. And I am predicting that. Now, once again, Remember, we have based around $4. As long as she holds that, we're going to be in a decent place. And we also have some major resistance coming up. Uh, 4.5 will have some resistance, but 4.65 is going to have more. I think AMC is going to slowly approach 4.5. Then AMC is going to get very tight, just like how it's getting tight right now. And we're going to make a very, very big move depending on FOMC. I don't know what's going to cause the whole market to crash or if the market is going to get a big rally. If we continue to rally really hard approaching the meeting, this could be bearish uh, after the meeting. It could lead to a big sell-off later on. Please be very, very careful. But until then, I am anticipating AMC to once again trade a little bit sideways and actually push up and try to close somewhat in the green tomorrow. I think she's going to get very close to 4.5 and then close somewhere uh, very close to where we are right now, but somewhat in the green, like 4.3 or something like that. And we're just getting ready once again for FOMC. It's going to be massive. So until then, please get ready, guys. Thank you all so much for listening. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.